What's going on guys? I got a new tutorial for you and I'm actually going to be putting a lot of these up. Uh, these are just real quick tutorials about Photoshop, Lightroom, stuff like that. I'm going to be doing a lot of these. That way I can help you with just little, you know, snippets of doing stuff as far as composite photography and portrait photos and stuff like that. Just to try to up your game just a little bit with some little, you know, tidbits of knowledge that I have gained over the years. So we're going to get into it. We're going to open up Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to cut somebody out of the background seamless and make it look just that much better than just trying to do the quick select or the select tool, uh, but rather use the pen tool. If you do find this information helpful and you wanna see more of these, please hit that subscribe button. I'm not gonna uh, bore you with all of the uh, bell notification, blah, blah, blah. You guys know what to do. I'm not even gonna do it as much anymore. So if this helps you, you know what to do, but let's get into Photoshop now and uh, let's get to working. All right, so as you can see, I got a photo that I took of myself. This was in front of a white wall and I have already edited it a little bit to get the color that I wanted and to give it that, uh, you know, that uh, grungy textured uh, composite, almost HDR look. That's not what we're talking about in this. I'm just gonna show you how to use the pen tool and cut somebody out and just make it look so crisp. And the way you do that is you're actually going to, like I said, use the pen tool instead of the quick selection. So the old way to do it, or the way most people know, is like um, just grab it and, you know, try to go around and get all of this and get in there. And then you can grab the quick selection and try to get closer and all of that. But what that does is it's actually going to leave um, a halo around you. So here's what I do and what many others do but you're actually going to grab your pen tool and you're going to just start copying around and i will be the first person to let you know that this pen tool i didn't know how to use it for like the longest time and i'm glad that i finally did because it has changed my game substantially as far as w what i can do now so but what we're going to do is we're going to use this pen tool and we're not going to get right on the edge because like i said that's going to create a halo what we're going to do is we're going to leave it just a little bit in. We're going to click a dot. We're going to start another one and we're going to hold it in and drag it. Now, you, as you can see, this line is a little off. It's not right where we want it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold the alt key in uh, if you're on a PC and just take this one. And you, as you can see, you can drag this line, get it to where you want, and then take this next one that's over here and line it up to where the next point is gonna be. So if my next point is gonna be over here, you don't want it over here because what it's gonna do is it's gonna do this weirdness. So what you wanna do is you wanna put this right about there because that's gonna be a leading line into where the next one is. So now I can take this one, I can pull this here, I can take this, I can pull it up to where I want it to be. I can take this one by holding in the Alt key and then I am all set for my next one. So that's the quick way to do it. Um, if you need to actually move this point, uh, you can actually hold in the control button and you can move the last point you created. Other than that, you're gonna have to hit control Z uh, and back up and undo. But this is how you kind of do this. And then you just kind of go around, find your next point, go around, find your next point, hold and drag, get this here. And like I said, you can see that I'm not going all the way to the edge because even just looking at it, you can see this halo right here and you're not gonna want, want that halo in your shot. So just go around. And I mean, I can even probably go way down here with it. Go around. This is just a little bit out to the edge. So we'll go there, drag this one to the next spot there. And that's how you're gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward this right now. I'm going to cut my entire self out. And then I'm gonna show you the next step because there is more to this. So let me just do this and I will be right back with you after I have the entire thing ready to go and I'll show you the next step. All right, so I'm almost done here now, and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna just keep going with what you were doing, 
and connect them all together. So when you hit that last dot, that's going to connect them all together. And as you can see, I kind of did it kind of quick. And if I was doing this for like a paid project, I would have taken way more time on doing this. But as you can see, it's all done. Okay, so now you have your guy completely outlined or your subject or whatever you're shooting. And you want to right click and hit make selection. Okay, so I'm going to leave this at zero, leave it just how it pops up. So anti-aliased, uh, new selection, zero radius or zero pixels for feather and hit. Okay, so what that does is that's actually going to give you the marching ants and let you hit control J, create a new layer and boom, your guy is out of a background just like that. But what you're going to want to also do is you're going to want to feather this guy, your subject, a little bit because it's not going to fit into the background quite perfect if you leave it like this. So this is what I do is I take the magic wand tool, select anywhere not the guy or the subject, and uh, so you'll have the marching ants around everywhere. Hit inverse, and then what you're going to want to do is hit select, hold in the shift button, and hit select and mask. So what that's going to do is that's going to open the refine edge uh, panel toolbar. So in my tip, uh, this is what I do for all of mine is I hit two for the feather and I do shift edge on negative eight and I hit enter. That's all you have to do. Uh, then you're going to want to inverse again. So now you have the background area and you hit delete. Obviously, you're not going to really see anything that's been done. Unless you're up close, then you can hit delete and you can see that it's just just uh, pulling in the edge a little bit here. So your guy is pretty much ready to go. You can drop him in front of a background uh, and you can see that he is pretty nice and smooth in that shot. There's no halo around him and there's ready to go. You know, you could add in some color effects here and make him look like he's in the snow. If this is what you wanted to do, you could make him look like it is snowy, snowy outside and then drop in some snow. And if you wanted to go even further, you could mask these. Like I always do all of my other photos, mask them and take a little bit of the snow off of his face. This is a really, really really quick version of this. This is not how I'd be doing it otherwise. Uh, just get the skin a little. I would suggest definitely taking your time when doing this, but since I'm just showing you guys, and then what you can do is you can drop this, make it a little bit more snowy. And now I am standing in the snow just like that. I hope this guys, this helped you, like I said, and if it did, please hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys real soon with more of these little trinkets of knowledge. Bye-bye.